Hello, we are the EVST design team, and today we are going to give a quick summary of the project we worked on this semester. The ex-vessel storage tank is a core assembly storage vessel filled with argon. It includes a rotating carousel and is used for buffer storage of irradiated assemblies removed from the reactor vessel. Used fuel assemblies have been cooled for several years inside the reactor before transfer to the EVST to allow handling in argon with passive convective air cooling. Our specific project was to design a carousel that rotates and aligns, aligns to 52 assembly positions with access ports to the tanks. The design also needs to provide a conductive and radiative heat transfer path from the fuel to the tank wall under stagnant argon conditions. Finally, the tank needs to distribute forced argon flow to the assemblies during normal refueling operations. Now we will present our final product, which consists of several CAD models as our project has been completely conceptual. The CAD model was one of the most important deliverables due to the conceptual nature of our project. Our CAD model is composed of several individual components assembled into a model of the carousel. First is the carousel support structure, with the main function of holding the fuel assemblies in place. Next is the bearing assembly, which allows the carousel to rotate to each position and also holds the weight of the support structure and fuel assemblies. Next is the top shielding, which shields the floor level from radiation and heat while providing access to the fuel assemblies and gear teeth of the bearing assembly. The last main component is the tank, which attaches to the bearing assembly and provides a heat transfer path. It was important that our design pass through multiple analyses to confirm the safety and effectiveness of our design. Of these mini analyses completed, some of the highlights are shown here. First, a criticality analysis, which measures the number of neutrons contributing to a fission chain reaction in the system. Our analysis showed that the geometry and spacing of the fuel within the tank produce a subcritical multiplication factor, which is necessary for fuel storage. A finite element analysis of a tank walls showed that the materials chosen for the tank were able to withstand the external loading and pressures applied. In addition, the heat transfer components of a tank, such as the fins, were analyzed to determine their efficiencies in removing heat from the fuel assemblies to the surrounding argon. In conclusion, the tank was designed to meet the desired objectives in an effective manner to reduce fueling time and increase the safety of fuel storage.